there's burrowing wasps digging in there, and they're digging these holes so that they can fill them full of dead insects, mostly katydids and other longhorn grasshoppers, that their larvae will eat once they hatch. So I don't know how well you can see behind me, right back there, but you see those little light-colored mounded dirt areas? There's burrowing wasps digging in there, and they're digging these holes so that they can fill them full of dead insects, mostly katydids and other longhorn grasshoppers, that their larvae will eat once they hatch. They're really cool. They're not aggressive. I've been filming them for 10 or 15 minutes and not have even one come close to stinging me, and they're beautiful. Let's, let's take a closer look. This female katydid wasp is preparing a spot to dig her burrow. Unlike the wasps most people are familiar with, digger wasps are solitary. This also makes them much less likely to sting as there is no coordinated defense of a communal nest. This embankment is a great spot for nesting and many females are gathered here to dig their burrows. Though these solitary wasps coexist in relative harmony, an occasional wasp shows up that seems bent on harassing and attacking the others. Much of this conflict appears to be coming from the males as they wait and watch for a potential mate. These males often fly in quickly from out of nowhere, tackling a female in what I initially thought was a predatory attack. Though many of these mating attempts are not well received, some are successful. As with many things in nature, all of this hard work is to ensure the success of the next generation. Soon, the females will lay their eggs at the bottom of the burrows, but first they have to provision these burrows with enough food for the larvae that will hatch out of those eggs. This is where the name katydid wasp comes into play, because these are parasitoid wasps that use their venomous sting to paralyze their prey, which will then be stashed in these burrows for their larvae to feed off of. Though the word katydid conjures up the large green katydids of late summer, this species prefers to feed on the much smaller and only distantly related leaf roller cricket. The wasps are able to find these small crickets in the daytime retreats that they create within rolled up leaves. Once they've stung and carried the crickets back to the burrows, they drag the insects down to the bottom and go off and search for more. Parasites and parasitoids can have a very strong top-down control on their prey populations, meaning they can help control populations of insects that might damage plants. The presence of these parasitoid wasps can therefore be a critical part of maintaining a delicate balance between plant and animal populations in a natural ecosystem.